Okay, how to stretch a woven wire fence. Uh, I've got the fence laid out. I can see it on the ground. 130 feet, small stretch, not a, not a large one by any means. Uh, a few years ago I bought this uh, fence stretcher, woven wire stretcher, and before that I used two two befores that I drilled holes through and uh, ran some bolts through and just basically squeezed the two two befores on in between the wires and that worked pretty good uh, this uh, does not seem to be as heavy duty this particular one I bought they may certainly make one but it'll do the job I, you can stretch pretty tight with this thing and it uh, <clears throat> is a little bit more convenient than the two two befores because all your bolts are already there all the holes line up on the other post so and this this little that helps a lot um, instead of using a ratchet. <laughs> My first few times I did it, I used a ratchet till I got smart. Uh, so basically, I can do this with one hand. You're gonna lay the fence in the stretcher like this. You're gonna try to line it up parallel with your stays. These, this is going to be upright when the fence is standing. These stays are going to be upright. So you want your uh, stretcher to be in between and I like to put it um, right up against this this uh, this stay where it's wrapped and everything because it helps it uh, I think to, to pull. So make this even. Okay. Top of it, and I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand. So basically, I'm going to line up the holes so the bolts come out, and then I'll tighten her down. And I'm just going to have to get back with you, do this with two hands, okay? Tighten her down, and we'll be ready. Okay, tighten her down. You gotta hold the back side, it's spinning. Make sure they're all good and tight. And it wouldn't hurt to come back with a ratchet because they do need to be tight. Depends on how good your drill is. I've used this before and I haven't found it to be an issue. Now I'm about two feet away I'm about two feet away from the post so I'm hoping since I think I've got that laid out fairly flat and there's not too many not too much slack in it I'm hoping that as I pull it it'll start getting tight about right there and if not I'm gonna have to redo that and uh, so I'm hoping that's about right about two and a half feet actually and we'll see I'll show you the stretching part now I forgot to mention that this uh, stretcher comes with cables and uh, you just attach it to your come along. I've got, uh, I've got mine just on my front end loader to pull from and it usually does a pretty good job. see the fence is starting to stand up a little bit and needs to be a little tighter and I'll fine tune it and get back with you okay I stretched the wire and I uh, twisted you know I got it up here bent it around the pipe this is my uh, pull post basically again I was pulling from the tractor but uh, this is uh, the wire is now being pulled. Uh, the wire is now pulling on the pull post. Uh, wrap the wire around through two or three times, and you can snug it up by twisting the wire 
and uh, that looks pretty straight even though I was kind of pulling downhill because of the way I had my tractor sitting. Fence is pretty tight. It's time to take off the, uh, the stretcher. Again, the drill makes it a lot faster than a ratchet. So there you have it. Uh, wire's in place. Obviously I've got it, uh, I haven't uh, I fixed it to the post yet. I'll show you how to do that and I'm maybe going to make a separate video on how to tie wire to T-post. There is a trick. Makes it mighty mighty easy and I'll show you that. Uh, I'll show you that in this video but then I'm going to do a separate video for that also. So anyway, this is uh, this is the stretch, 130 feet. We'll keep my dog in, keep the coyotes out. Hopefully, my chicken pen is that. It's grown up. I need to I need to mow it. <clears throat> That's all ryegrass. It's dying, but because it's getting so hot. But they have not even. Uh, this is 150, I think, by 14, and the grass is just growing crazy in here. They have not kept up with grass. 17 chickens and a rooster. I'm uh, a little surprised. Uh, I think it's because there's compost pile in here and because my um, uh, compost tea basically is coming off of this uh, back to Eden and, and, and flowing this way. This is the way my land slopes. So I think it's feeding off that and feeding the grass, keeping the keeping the chickens in, uh, in grass. You, typically they're going to clean off a spot. It's going to be bare earth, scorched earth. So let me uh, set up the camera for a tie and I'll show you how to tie the fence to the T-post. Okay, how to tie your fence wire to a T-post, whether it be barbed wire. In this case, this is a woven fence, uh, woven wire, field fencing. Put it there, there, reach underneath, twist it, done. The hardest part, the most time consuming part, is getting them out of that jumbled mess bag that they come in. Okay, that's the most time consuming part. The rest of it is easy. Now, we really gone. 